Hello Python programmers. So in this video, I'm going to show you that how I can create a factorial tree or a recursion tree, which I call using Python. So first of all, let's see what a recursion tree looks like. Okay, so this is what your final output is. The package required to create this is called Turtle. And I have worked on a few projects of Turtle. You will find the link in the description, which you can watch after this video. And Turtle comes pre-installed, so you don't need to install that package also. So with this being said, let's get to our editor and start writing our code. Okay, so first of all, let's import our library, import turtle, then we'll create an object called HR, turtle dot, uh, just a second, turtle, make sure that this T is capital and and many people who just copy my code and do not watch the whole video this is the problem you don't focus on these small things like this t is capital here and then you comment below that i am getting this error so so i'm not against copying the code this is the part of a programmer life to copy codes it's very common but you should understand what code actually does before copying and pasting in your editor understand this then you can copy paste it's not a big deal but please understand the code and try to google your problems first because as a programmer you have to use google at a very great extent okay so make a habit to use google to find your solution first and if not i'm here you can comment down below i'll try to answer them but google your problems first then we'll first of all move left to 90 degree okay so what are we doing here the turtle initially is facing towards the right direction over here so by this command the turtle direction is changed to left to 90 degree then we'll define what the speed of our turtle cursor be now this is a very big structure uh, having multiple sections so we'll define a very great speed like 150 now our uh, recursion function so the main concept in this uh, in this uh, structure is this recursion function only so first of all let me explain you what recursion is now recursion simply means that this function is calling itself inside itself okay so let me try to explain you in a more simpler language we will call this tree function inside this tree function now you must be thinking that this will lead to a infinite loop but not we'll define an if and else condition so that the loop is broken and it won't become a infinite loop let me show you how so we'll provide a parameter i which we'll define when we are calling this function and if i is uh, less than 10 then we'll simply break this loop though so here is the condition which will break our which we thought a infinite loop and else we'll first move forward now before writing this code uh, let's first examine our structure how this structure is actually working now first this will move forward to i which will be provided by us then it will 
be decreased to a certain value so first of all let me write this then I will explain you this will be much better so this will move to I sorry it should be I here then it will move to left for 30 degree then here the recursion is happening 3 into I by 4 now this is the equation that I have tried you can play with this value and you are just free to and uh, just get your own results okay then we'll move hr dot right but this will be 60 degree because we have already moved to 30 degrees uh, just a second it will be 60 degree then again the tree function is called and this is 3i by uh, 4 then we'll move to left because our tree is moving towards the left direction to 30 degree and then it will move backwards backward okay so let's call our function here a tree with the value let's say 100 okay so let's save this first and let me try to explain you this code with our structure so let's see how the turtle cursor is moving first of all it's moving i the value which we have provided which is here 100 and then 3 into 100 by 4 which is something which is less than 100 here then again less and we are also moving left to 30 degree 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 up to the value it is less than 10 then it is going backwards and then to the right direction and then it is less than 10 then going backward then going backward here left direction right direction then going backward backward forward left direction left direction going backwards and then right so this is how it's happening the cursor is moving until the value 10 is achieved then it is moving a little backwards and then following the process which I have just uh, described so let's run this command here and see whether it's uh, working or not and yes we are having an error what uh, the break is outside the loop okay if I is uh, actually this should be return here it should be return here let's save this and there you can see it's working and we are getting our output the cursor stops when I touch the window There you can see that this uh, this function is having only two branches first the left and the right and we haven't included one line this is why uh, it's not staying on the screen turtle dot done this will make our uh, turtle window stay uh, it is gone uh, yeah here it is now 
now for all those who are still confused in how it is working you can see that each branch is ha each branch is having two sub branches there you can see first is left and then there is a right there you can see it's going here it's having two branches this branch is again having two branches this branch is again having two branches so now I would like to give you an assignment try to make a three branch tree now I know it will be a bit complex but I know you can do it so so for all those who will uh, do this I will give you a shout out on my Instagram channel so sort of a giveaway shout out for and if you haven't followed me on Instagram just search I know Python and you will find me there just message me your code and if it's working you will get a free shout out so this is it for this video and I'll meet you in my next lecture bye bye